Now, a report has found that hundreds of Met Police officers have been breaking the law. The author of the report, Baroness Louise Casey, found that there were many claims of sexual misconduct, racism, homophobia, misogyny, and that they were badly handled. Well, the Met Police uh, Chief for the Commissioner, Sir Mark Rowley, appointed last month, of course, says he wants to get rid of hundreds of staff that he claims are guilty of crimes and unethical conduct. Joining us on the show now is former London police officer and founder of Protect the Protectors, Norman Brennan. Norman, do you recognise that there is a problem mm. with the culture in policing where there is evidence of sexism, misogyny, racism, homophobia, that some police officers hold those views and hold their jobs? Well, it's clearly the case. Um, one would be worried if it was a handful or two or three dozen. But uh, the commissioner stating that it's hundreds uh, out of a force of 34,000 is truly alarming. Um, but I think what we've got to do, instead of losing faith in the police, um, and the caveat to what I've just said, is that many of these officers, or hundreds, if Sir Mark Rowley has uh, pointed them out, they've all been disciplined, or they have gone through the discipline procedure, which means we can't retrospectively sack them. It's a bit like somebody going to court, getting a conditional discharge or a fine or a suspended sentence, and then calling them back and saying, hang on a minute, we got it wrong. You're going to have six months inside. But what has got to happen is, and this is clearly not just an MOT or a service, this is a complete overhaul of the Metropolitan Police. We've got to look at sergeants, inspectors, chief inspectors, commanders, because it's clear that some supervision respect and discipline has been completely lost. Um, officers have been allowed, some officers have been allowed to clearly run amok. Uh, and this isn't good news for the public and victims of crime that look to the Met to turn up and support them. And the majority of uh, Metropolitan Police officers are outstanding. But this is clearly going to uh, smudge many of their names or many of their officers. Yeah. And do you think, Norm, that there is a particular problem within the Met about the disciplinary procedures? Because one of the criticisms has been that it took so long for these uh, things to be addressed before uh, action was, was finally taken, even though they didn't lose their jobs as a result of it. Well, it's clear to me and many other retired and serving police officers that uh, it, everything takes so long. The independent office of police complaints... Um, if an officer's involved in a firearms incident, for example, um, PC Anthony Long, it took 13 years or over nearly, well, nearly half of his service before he was dealt with. And then when you look at internal discipline, if a police officer has been convicted in a court of a criminal offence, they should be dismissed the same day. And of course, if that officer then appeals, that can be looked at. But it does nothing to reassure the public and victims of crime when you've got dozens, and as Sir Mark Rowley says, hundreds of officers that he said should have been sacked. Well, the clear question is this, why weren't they?